Hello, my dear students. Now the next question. Question number uh, 13. A hypothetical magnetic field exists in a region given by B vector is equal to B naught E R vector. This E R denoted a unit vector along the radial direction. A circular loop of radius A carrying current I is placed with its plane parallel to the x y plane and the center at 0, 0, 0, D. Find the magnitude of magnetic force acting on the loop. Okay, so in this question, we are just considering one coordinate system. Okay, having uh, x axis, y axis, and z axis. So this is our x axis, this is y axis, and this z axis we are considering at vertical upward. So it is our z axis. Okay, and uh, this is origin 0, 0, 0. Okay, now. Uh, let us consider a point that is 0, 0, Z, D is uh, the center of the circular loop. So, the center of circular loop and this circular loop is in x, y plane like that. Okay? Like that. Okay? Uh, and if you are talking about the magnetic field, magnetic field at any point, this magnetic field is in radial direction. So, what we have to do to find this uh, magnetic field, we can join this uh, vector this point with the origin okay so we are getting this radial vector r vector and the magnetic field is in the radial vector that is the b vector okay is in direction b and uh, the direction of current we are considering like that along the length of loop okay so whenever we want to find the magnetic force that is f vector is equal to okay and uh, f is equal to the magnitude of magnetic force that is f is equal to i l and b and sine theta okay so here current i is flowing in the loop okay and the length is 2 pi a the complete length is 2 pi a okay and b is the magnetic field so this magnetic field is b not given in the equation that is b not the magnitude of magnetic field okay now this magnetic field is radial so always making angle theta with this current element if you are considering this current element here one current element we can consider here so this current element dl vector okay dl vector and the magnetic field making angle theta let us consider making angle theta so this angle is this angle is theta so with this vertical this magnetic field will form angle theta okay now if you want to find this angle theta so you just join this uh, center to this current element and this center to current current element length will be a and this uh, origin to the center having the distance d so if you want to find the magnitude of this uh, d this r vector so you can form this type of right angle triangle and in this right angle triangle this is the origin that is 0 comma 0 comma 0 and this is the center let us consider this center is c this is the center of the loop and having coordinate 0 comma 0 comma d okay so this radius is a and this base base of this right angle triangle is this angle is theta base of this right angle triangle is d so if you want to find the hypotenuse, this hypotenuse will be a square plus d square. That is equal to r. Okay. That is equal to r. Now if you want to find this sine theta, so this sine theta will be perpendicular. Which one is the perpendicular? Just opposite side to the angle. So this opposite side to this angle theta is a and the hypotenuse is equal to root a square plus d square. Okay. Now only we have to put the value of this sine theta. What is the sine theta? That is a divided by root a square plus d square. If we are selecting any, any differential element on the circumference on the periphery of this loop, this angle will remain constant and the magnetic field also will remain constant. Okay, so directly you can use for every element. So at the place of L you can directly use the length that is total length 2 pi a now this force will become 2 pi a square i into b naught divided by root 
a square plus d square okay so this is the magnitude of magnetic force thank you very much